I was worried yesterday for a little while that son number one had stolen something for the first time. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. He didn't shoplift a banana. Um, he uh, he gets the car yesterday. I pick him up in from preschool or whatever, and he gets the car and he's got one hand behind his back, and he says, "Daddy, I have something to show you. You've got to close your eyes." Oh, tell me it's poop. I will. <laughs> he's too old for it to be poop, but. Anytime they say I've got something that you need to close your eyes for, like you're always worried about the absolute worst thing that it could be. And then while after I close my eyes, I'm like, okay, Betty, what is it? And he goes, it's something I found in the bathroom. Yeah, it was poop. No, I I opened my eyes. He said, okay, open your eyes. And I looked and it's he's got a Spider-Man watch around his around the wrong wrist, first of all, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that he's right-handed. Uh, he's got it around his right arm and it's also like over the sleeve of his hoodie. Yeah. So did he make a trade or something? Well, and that's what I'm worried about. I'm like, well, or I'm just, I'm just worried. About, like, he literally like smacked some kid in the head and then like, Hey, look that way. And like took his watch yeah. or something. You know, <laughs> would you, would you trade for that Spider-Man watch? Oh, my iPad mini. Yeah. So I was like, well, where did you get it, baby? And he said, I found it in the bathroom. Then my friend Hayden told me it was his. And I was like. Okay, first off, that sneaky Hayden, like your boy finds something, you like, oh yeah, I left that in there, and like, I, hey guys, I found this hundred dollar bill on the on the floor outside. Yeah, man, that's funny. I I dropped a hundred dollar bill on the floor outside, you know. Uh, but then Hayden told him that he had one already. He had another one at home, and he wanted son number one to keep that one forever. Who buys their kids two fucking Spider Man watches? Mm. Yeah, it still smells fishy to me too, which is why I'm I'm still not convinced that. He didn't just, I'm just saying, son number one has this watch. And at first I'm like a little iffy about it or whatever, but it's clear right away this dude is all about it. Like he says to me, Daddy, I've never had a watch before. I love Spider-Man. This watch is awesome. It's the best thing ever. I can't wait to show Deuce. You know, blah, 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 on and on about the watch. I drop him off at his aftercare that afternoon or whatever, and then I pick him and his brother up at 5 when I get off work. They're both in the back seat, and I'm asking him how their day went and stuff, whatever. And he's kind of mumbling to himself, and then all of a sudden he says, no, it was great, Dad, it was great. I showed everybody my watch, and they really liked it. I was like, oh, okay, cool, man. Uh, Deuce and I are talking. <laughs> I hear I hear some number one say, oh, watch, you're so, you're so amazing. I love you so much. <laughs> I giggle a little bit, and then he looks up, and I see him in the rearview mirror like he catches my eyes like all deer in the headlights, and he goes, oh. You weren't supposed to hear that. And then he literally petted his watch. You're, I, you're, you're about to get shivved in your sleep by a fucking Gollum. In the dude, Navy, that's what man. I said, man. Son number one has turned into Gollum and a Spider-Man watch is his precious. <laughs> Two guys, one podcast. I'm one guy. We're not talking about fair. We're talking about magic if you could powers here. Very briefly shoplifted a banana, yes. Two guys, one podcast. And I'm the other. Look, you can justify your pick all you want to. It doesn't make it less dumb. Two guys, one podcast. All right, let's go find out how many five-year-olds we can beat up. Hoo-ah! Two guys, one podcast. And this is the podcast. All right, well, if I don't show up for the podcast next week, you know what's up. I'm not going to be hanging out too often when you got the boys. Spider, Spider-Man watch came to get me. I still think there's something up with this Hayden kid, man. Oh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into it like, more. I'm going to ask the teacher you don't about just give, it. Like, I think maybe this Hayden kid's like a super secret spy, <laughs> and his watch has been tagged GPS style, and he like got him off their trail. <laughs> Bam, now it's on your kid. You're because saying- Hayden's really like... 30, kind of like in the orphan. Right. But he keeps pretending to be four. <laughs> you're, saying, uh, you're saying that Hayden is a Russian midget that has now lojacked my son? No. He's going to bring the feds down on me? It's the 2000s. It's definitely North Korea. <laughs> um, you ready to start? I was born ready. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Two Guys, One Podcast. I'm one guy. And I'm the other. And this is the podcast. Um, let's, do, uh, let's, do, let's just start right off the top with the word of the day. Why don't we? Oh, yeah. I found this. I like this word of the day um, because I had some friends in college that this was the rule of their house. And whether you live there or not, or whether you were aware of the rule or not, it still applied to you. Okay? All right. Trash Jenga. (laughs) When the garbage gets piled so high that you and your roommates carefully place trash on top to form a tower... The one who is unfortunate in having the tower collapse on them is then responsible for taking out the trash. Uh, this is this is a widespread rule. I've never heard it referred to as trash jenga, 
uh, although it makes that makes perfect sense because everybody's played Jenga at least once. Like you, you go out and you spend whatever it is twenty dollars on a Jenga set. You play it that night, and then you never ever get it out and play it again because it's really not that much fun. Uh, I played I played uh, like human sized Jenga that was pretty cool. Like like with like firewood logs or something. No, like with like uh, fucking two by fours. Really? Yeah, it was pretty cool. That's crazy. Uh, wait, I think I've I think I've seen a set like online or something. Somebody saw like a life size Jenga set, yeah, or whatever. That's was I wouldn't and see even that. How much fucking trouble would it be to to build a Jenga set that big? What do you mean to play it or to build it? Well, I mean it, shit, even to put it together. Like, how much is that in wood? It's a tr- wood is expensive. I know because I've been pricing a desk. I guess it depends on how long you make it, man. I mean, if you make them three feet or whatever. Well, so how how long do you make them? As long as know, you, you fucking want them, as long as you got money to make them. <laughs> well, but even if you even if you cut them at one, well, first of all, they're not. You said two by fours, but they're not. You know, you wouldn't use two by fours, right? You'd need they Maybe need to be the long, fours. yeah, four by fours or whatever, or two by, yeah, no, four by four. I guess you could use two by twos, couldn't you? Or one by ones. Hey, talk for a minute. Did you seriously not have my motherfucking mic on again? No, it's on. It just sounds really shitty. Do you want me to switch mics now, like, now that we've started the show? Is this mic better? Yeah, Jesus Christ. What the fuck is wrong with that mic? (laughs) I'm, like, hang on a minute. Let me pause and let me hear how this sounds. First of all, uh, welcome back from the break. Yeah, here's – so that's a lot of – I don't know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do something with that audio. I won't do the whole thing, but I don't know what's wrong with that mic, but I'm going to have to tell boss now we got to get that shit fixed or replaced or something. Anyway, um, first of all, what is a person named Four Finger Frank doing running a lube shop? I didn't say it was strictly legal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm no, I'm just asking. Why wouldn't a guy named Four Finger Frank run a lube shop? Like, I mean, after getting his finger cut off, he's probably like, yeah, oh, fucking chainsaw needed more lube. Oh no, see, I I imagine that he lost his finger in some sort of lubing accident. Yeah, now it's his. He's like the fucking water boy. Like it's <laughs> it's his job to lube fucking everything. Four Finger Frank is really the Trojan Man's sidekick. You just never get his name. He's just called Lube Boy. Um, no. No, I what I what I envisioned was more like uh Frank used to be a guy that worked at the lube shop and in a horrible accident because of bad working conditions he got one of his fingers cut off. And now he owns it. He the sued <laughs> yeah, exactly. He now owns it and, yeah. and four fingered Frank sits at home, but he made damn sure they put his name on the sign out front of the lube shop that he owns. So it's four fingered Frank's lube shop. I don't know shit about lube, but I got four fingers and a big ass retirement check, baby. Woo! Yeah, we, we'd pimp him out. You know, nothing says love on Valentine's Day like lube. I think if there's our lube, <laughs> I think if there's anything. No, I tell you what's fucking funny, man. Is the uh, one of the stations that I work for has a? <laughs> they have a. Uh, I'm trying to think how much I can say without hurt. Yeah, you know what? They don't, that that dude's never gonna listen to this show anyway. There's a there's a weight loss product that sells itself directly. <laughs> Does it kind of just come fucking knock on your door with its briefcase? No, no, no. no. I like, mean, I'm I'm moving in. No, I mean like the guy who owns I the hope company. You like green coffee bean extract. No, I mean the guy who owns the company does like these live type commercials for it or whatever. He's like, you know, he's like straight up pitching it. He's like, hey man, it's great. You can lose all kinds of weight. But wait, there's more. Yeah, no. Or should I say less? Here on the run up to Valentine's Day, I heard him the other day actually fucking make the pitch. He goes, fellas, we got a Valentine's Day special. A sweetheart special. <laughs> you buy six months of our product for your loved one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like getting but- soap. That's what, no, like it's way, <laughs> yes, yes, I love you so much, I want you to be much more attractive than you are right now, and I've paid for you the first steps towards getting there, please, please, go in yourself, go and make yourself presentable enough for me to fuck you. See man, I, uh, for all these holidays, like Valentine's <laughs> Day and stuff, I've got this shit all figured out. Uh, oh, how so? Okay, so. What's your, what's your, wait, we should, 
I, you know, we're just going to use that open because I am going to use some of that audio. So we're going to use the open we already did. Okay. There you I'm go. I'm just telling you about holidays, man. So here's the deal. So if like Christmas, right? Right. Uh, like your kids get a fucking ton of toys. I've seen them. Yeah, they get a lot. I'm, I Next year I'm going to, like I got them, I thought I got them so little this year. And first of all, when I sat down and added it up, I ended up spending a lot of money myself. But more than that, they got a pile of shit from every single relative. Like next year, I'm literally just, I'm going to take some of their toys away and not get anything, I think, from me. I think that's all bullshit anyway. I think Christmas is over commercialized and all that jazz, right? So to make it easier on for me, but my family as tilt well. Tilt the mic into your, yeah, tilt the. No, you were fine. You were fine with the wind thing, but even, you see how like the mic was angled up and your mouth was below it? Look, this time I'm going to roll. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's up to you to fucking fix it. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> it's division of labor right there, other yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, your boys got all those presents. You were stressed out, like, oh, uh, I don't have them enough. Yes. Or this, that, and the other. Man, fuck all that. Okay? Okay. Christmas, I don't care what anybody says, we celebrate it as a Christian holiday. It's in the motherfucking name. Yeah. Okay? Jesus got three presents. <laughs> my kids will get three presents they will get one from me and one from each you know side of the grandparents like my parents and her parents there you go there's your three fucking presents shut up it's good enough for jesus is good enough for you exactly done you bring them up that way so they expect don't know any different it's perfect okay on their birthday my kid will give me a gift <laughs> Not 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 your wife. Well, her too. Like the, the, our our children will give us the parents' gifts, because if it weren't for us, they would not be. They need to be thinking the motherfucking creators. Uh, so then, on Father's Day, are you gonna like shower them with presents? Yes. <laughs> like like all of a sudden you show up with a pony for Father's Day. Yeah, and then for Mother's Day they'll get a gift. For Mother's Day and they'll get a gift for Father's Day, and on Valentine's Day. I treat my wife like shit. <laughs> like. Just to remind her how good she's got it the rest of the year? Yeah, dude. I treat her like I fucking own her <laughs> on Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? And so on that day, like, she gets, you know, she gets beaten a little bit. She gets a little verbal abuse. Uh, she has to clean the whole house, but I take fucking everything away but her toothbrush and it's hers. <laughs> Two guys, one pod at me.com. <laughs> Two guys, one pod at me.com. <laughs> and so. And so the rest of the year, like she knows she, how much you my just, love is worth. You just remind her. You remind her what a what a normal. Like, I love fella. you, and you are with me. This is what it could be like if you weren't. <laughs> well, you know, there's like there's there's an in between uh, between the uh, the loving congenial uh, other guy that you are 364 days a year, and you know the the, <laughs> the wife beating. And you know what that in between is called? Bubba, normal people, average. <laughs> So you're saying you're saying if it wasn't if it wasn't you it would have been Bubba from the trailer park? And it, it, yeah, and here's the thing is like she doesn't realize. I mean Valentine's Day is what tomorrow? Yeah. So at I 1201, mean, not from when we listen, but yes. yes. At 1201 she's getting fucking waterboarded, man. <laughs> you wrap her head up. She's probably, oh, Done. I didn't even fucking know what, what I had waterboarded wrong. I guess I in my head I envisioned uh, like Chinese water torture and the fucking zero dark 30 apparently dramatizes it. And so it's been talked about a lot lately. I still haven't seen the movie, but it, it's been explained and discussed. So this literally before this movie came out, you'd never seen waterboarding on a show or no. another movie. Really? No, hmm. I'd never seen it done. Uh, I mean, I, and again, I assume that there was involved water and a board and I, Assumed it was some variation on the traditional Chinese water torture. Like, I mean, you know, they'll like one drop on your forehead until you can't stand it. Dude, you just like. You know, like just, a sensory deprivation chamber or something. You could say anything, but if it is in an ominous enough tone that I believe I'm about to be fucking tortured, like if I'm captured, but they say something like, you know. You're about to be flurbolt girded. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck flurbolt girded is, but I don't <laughs> want none of that. Uh,. You're going to tell us at where the fucking codes are, or I'm going to flurble girt you. Yeah, I'm not I'm not even down with flurble, flurble girting. Flurble girting? It's a hard word to say, that imaginary word. That I, just, I should have made 
an, an easier easy. one. Yeah, yeah, I could. I couldn't think of an easy. I guess I should use normal words and put them together in an ominous fashion. Like waterboarding doesn't. Waterboarding. Well, it could be the way that you make shit. Waterboarding sounds like something new on the X Games this year, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> like going out of the lake. Yeah, we're gonna do a little waterboarding. waterboarding. Yeah, I think I waterboarded once though, for real. Like, we'd go to the lake a lot during the summers, right? And um, you you'd go out there with no skis, no wakeboard, nothing, uh, and you would hold on to the uh, the rope, mm-hmm. and a girl would swim out there with you, and like she'd get on either either your stomach or your back, depending on how you wanted to hold the rope and the boat would take off and so you're it just drugged you riding. and she rode you on top of the water yeah but like it's like it's fucking hard to do and so like if you could hold on for any length of time like that was impressive and i don't want to be drugged through the water thanks i don't want to be yeah, drugged I was always, did we we did we did fucking stupid stuff like stuff that i don't know how we didn't die but yeah we would do that and the whole time we're out at the lake doing that. I'm like, man, what if there's just like a log, like right into water yeah. or something? They don't hit it, just fucking skewers you as you pass through. Yeah, yeah. I thought about that a lot whenever I was, whenever we'd be out on the lake. This podcast would suck if you had a big log through the middle of you. <laughs> I'd be way more interesting. <laughs> no, I, 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 well, no, no, I wouldn't be. I, I don't know. I guess it would be interesting we, in how we, you would, would also, you would have survived. I suppose if you still had the log in you. We would also <laughs> got a little log in you. Well, this would work for waterboarding too. Like we would we would shorten the rope up really really short, like just a couple of feet. Mm-hmm. Uh, and on the back of the ski boat, you know, it's got the the deck that you lift up on and right. you put your seat. Well, but the deck's outside of the boat. Yes, right, and the motors in between or whatever. We would shorten the rope to where you could hold on with it one with one arm and lean at a forty five degree angle off the back of the deck. And the boat would just take off, and you would have to hold on. That's fucking crazy, man. Like, that's how – I think that's how Jason got turned into <laughs> – <That's how. laughs> I mean, like, isn't that literally one of the ways that Jason killed, got killed or something? I don't know, but that's what we did, man. We were No, dumb. that's a terrible idea. What the, what, the, what the fuck was the word of the day? I forgot even now. Uh, trash really, Jenga. Trash Jenga, yes. Okay, so, all right. First of all, Trash Jenga is played, I think, most commonly – in apartments or trailer parks or out in rural areas where Chicks you don't have don't a trash. Uh, no, that's not true. In college, when girls all live together, they play it too. No, they don't. Unless they've unless they've all got bro- boyfriends that come over and do the trash for them. But like, if it's three fucking girls together, they d- you know girls that live together alone in college, they're fucking disgusting. No, they're no, no, worse no, than no, guys. No, no, no. What? The, no. Look, dude, trash is common area. Right? Right. And girls are nothing. Girls don't wear makeup for us, man. Girls don't get dressed up for us. Girls get dressed up and put on makeup for other girls so bitches don't talk about them and so that they can talk about bitches. That's what it is. The trash can is always in the common area. Not a single one of those motherfucking girls living in that in an apartment or a house together is going to let the common area reflect poorly on there. Now, the room, on the other hand, All right, fair completely enough. completely different story. Fair enough. Fair you enough. Know but how in a there. chick really lives and she's got roommates? Go to her room. Yeah, that's a good point. Good point. All right. All right. But, but I, I did I did play this game, though, when I lived in an apartment with my sister because we had to go, like, you had to go way out the fuck to the dumpster or whatever. And so it was like, I, well, I'm not going to go. I'll just pile this on top of it and it's fine. And we played it at the, the we had, we lived in a trailer park, which was like, again, you got to drive down the fucking street to the dumpster. Nobody wants to put the trash bag in their car. So everybody's just like shove it off on the other guy. No, 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 just wait. No, 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 just like wait. Somebody you, else will do it. I like it. that you just straight up just just put out there as if it were, were nothing. Oh, that we I used to live in a trailer park? Yeah. Uh, like I wasn't going to bring that back up. Well, around here, it's not odd. I say that around here. I don't think it's odd in lots of places in college. My sister and I were both going to college. We bought a trailer instead of like renting an apartment. And then when we got done with college, we sold the trailer and got – Almost all of yeah, our money. No, I know, no, I know a ton of college kids yeah. that do that. Yeah. But for your average listener. I, oh, yeah. No. I see our average listener, like, none of our listeners go to fucking college and experience this. Well, no. I think, and again, I don't think it's just, I mean, I, obviously it's more prevalent. In the South. In the South. Yeah. But I think that's just because the availability of trailers and trailer parks are more, like, 
I think in 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 the Northeast, for instance, there's just less room, so there's there's less room for trailer parks, and I think there's more high rise buildings, so there's more low rent apartments and you know, trailer et cetera, parks would still be outside of towns, like outside of the you know where the suburbs are. You could still have like trailer parks, but the thing is, is I, I, do a trailer it doesn't lend itself well to cold weather at all. You know, I've never thought about that. I've never like, thought about off the that. Ground, like wind blows through the whole motherfucker on the top, on the bottom. Fucking everything on a trailer. That's a very good point. Huh. Well, now it makes even more... So- I-, I just thought it was because we-, we could stand the fact that we lived in little... In like shit logs. Not- and-, and northerners couldn't. They're like, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> I live on the inside. It doesn't look square from in here. Well, they have, they have different things. Like up north, they have different things, like fucking yurts and stuff. People don't really live in yurts, do they? Dude, have you ever... Bering Sea Gold, all those motherfuckers live in yurts. Well, the Bering Sea gold is like in fucking Alaska. Canadia or something. Yeah. It's in Alaska. Well, yeah, it's fucking Alaska. I'm not talking about Alaska. Alaska has 12 people in it. Dude, it's still in the north. Well, how much further north do you want me to go? That's too far north. I'm saying go back down to civilization. Fucking South Canada at the very least. I'm just saying in Alaska, <laughs> they all have yurts, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They have igloos too in Alaska. Like they sit around, they sit around their yurts when the weather's bad <laughs> and they're fucking flannel- and jogging pants, no shoes on, just fucking smoking a Joe. You, you want to talk about? You want to talk about a uh, a, a building uh, type that's specifically limited to one geographic region? Fucking igloos, igloos there. You don't see any igloos south of uh, the fucking uh, tundra line. You know what I'm saying? I what don't know what my happen? point what? was. I don't know what my point was. <laughs> I got lost. I used to live in a trailer park. Are, are, are you you're gonna saying, hate on me say, for it? No, you're you saying, never lived in a you're trailer. Saying, you're saying too far north, and you don't have to. You have igloo parks. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I bet they're I'm way saying, warmer, man. What, here's here's the deal for me though. Like, I was like, yeah, the South has trailers, and you're like, well, yeah, the trailers would never work in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> I think like, there's a lot of there's a lot of territory between the South and Alaska. You know, like Missouri. <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> no, I mean, dude, there's trailer parks in Missouri. Well, probably, me. but I'm saying like. Why not? You make a good point there too. Okay, so maybe it's just the Northeast where there's not trailer parks. I don't know. There's probably not any in. Are there a lot of trailer parks in Oklahoma? Dude, how do you know there's not? Uh, well, okay, just look at fucking <clears throat> Eighth Miles. Nothing but trailer parks, right? Like it's a bunch of fucking projects and trailer parks. Shit, there are. They they do live in a fucking trailer in Eight Mile, don't they? Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Huh? I, all right. I guess I'm. That's a very. I think I think they're just. So, maybe they just don't make movies about trailers well, I anywhere. Think they're just so south. few and far between, and only the fucking white trash, dirty poor live in up oh, north. Like and in here, the south, it's kind of a common thing. It's like, well, I lived in a trailer for a while, but now I have a real home. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like in the south, people graduate from trailers sometimes. In the north, it's like if you live in a trailer, you yeah. like that's a place that you go in your life. You're not likely to come out of. Maybe that's what it is. That's weird. All right. So the, <laughs> yeah, I lost it. <laughs> Fucking trash jenga. Yes, I played trash jenga often in college, in particular. You were probably a master at trash jenga, weren't you? Uh, so, I mean, you're a former frat guy. It's got to be like, right? But you, you like, you know what trash not to not to throw away. Like, you know what to hold. Because sometimes, like, some trash can fall out. But if nobody hears it, and like you, you're gone. <laughs> Then it's nobody's problem. Then it's the then it's whoever finds it's got to fucking pick it up. Then, but like if you're gonna throw away a beer can, man, you're just gonna hold, like you just store that in your room until the trash can's empty, and then you immediately fill it up with all the shit from your room. You fill the new trash can, so immediately the trash taken out, new bag in, bam, you filled the motherfucker back up. <laughs> so you're saying you just and keep, you didn't have to take shit out. You didn't have to take nothing out. You keep a running trash bag laid back it's in your room for for just such an emergency so you don't have to be the guy that puts it over the top yeah but yeah i mean beer cans are the worst like you go to put them on you know like even if you crush them because if you got smart playing the game you would eventually <laughs> learn to crush your can before you put it in because that's more that's less work than having to take it out <laughs> right but if you put that fucking can on top and you didn't position it just right and that can falls off counts you got to pick the whole you got to take everything out one can immediately ends it Anything that falls, anything that falls. If I put a Kleenex on there and the Kleenex falls, and it's the only thing that falls out, you lose. Is that the way Jenga works too? If one single piece falls, if anything falls in Jenga, the po- yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize that it though. I thought they, I thought the structure had to fall. No, I mean if you knock off one of the top pieces, I mean you're, you dumbass, pick it up. 
Huh. All right. Trash jingle. I'll try to fit that in. Um, Honey Bun sent the two of us a really interesting text message today. And I liked my response. I love the question. I liked my response. I thought yours was better, too. It's a discussion I think we should continue here. Oh, I don't even know what it is. <clears throat> I got a lot. She sent me. She was text happy today. I got a lot of text messages from her. Uh, if she, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> and I'm a little wondering now. No, I got I, I got two or three. One was a picture. Another one was something I didn't bother reading. And I guess I responded to the first one. Yes, she sent, uh, and it was a. Te- she saw a text from last night, the website text from last night or whatever. Yeah. Okay. She sent the text. Uh, th- this is this was the tweet. Oh, I know what we're talking. I about. want Samuel L. Jackson to stand beside me and narrate my morning shits. Yeah. I think that's fucking brilliant. I think that's fucking brilliant. And Sam Jackson, I think, is immediately the name that pops off the list. I don't see. I don't have time for anybody to narrate. Like when I'm in the bathroom. You know, I don't need somebody distracting me from playing like Words with Friends or Angry Birds. All right, so so not every time then, but you're telling me that you you you're not interested in not even once would you want a celebrity shit narrator? I I find it I would love it. No, well, are they going to are they going to be in the room with you or is it just like a voiceover? Like do you get to hear the voiceover? Whichever makes you more comfortable. Yeah, I think maybe like maybe it was a voiceover and I got to hear it and then react to like everything he's saying. He could be in a studio like with a monitor, like yeah, he's yeah, watching yeah. you on camera or whatever, and then he's and he's in the other room. It's like, well, they'd they'd be surprised. Like, <laughs> Samuel Jackson would be fucking surprised. He's shut the door and opened the window. I don't know how I don't have a fucking Samuel Jackson <laughs> voice, it'd, but the no, point it'd be, is, you'd be like, uh, it'd be like, like grunt one more motherfucking time. <laughs> no, I dare you. No, he's gonna take a shit. <laughs> oh, what's what does he need Jergens for? It turns into masturbation. What the fuck? <laughs> Hand me my toilet paper. Like he'd be one. The TV. one with bad motherfucker printed <laughs> across it. <laughs> he'd just be pissed off. Sam guy. Jackson. I bet Sam Jackson doesn't even use toilet paper. Like he's. I, I know he's not a wet wipe guy. He's not a toilet paper guy either. I bet he goes like straight to like someone else's t-shirt. Like he calls someone into the bathroom, just snatches their shirt off, wipes his ass, and hands it to him. There. Have a nice day. Uh. See, I immediately thought that he had like. A trio of like fucking Filipino lady boys, like transvestites, like like with long nails to and scrape his ass scraping off. Scraping his ass off before he walks out. I want that shit clean. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, you said Sam Jackson's not the way to go. You want you want to class up the joint a little bit. You you pulled the Jeff Zucker. He goes into the pen for CNN and gets uh, the voice, James Earl Jones. You want yeah. you want Darth Vader to. <laughs> no, I wanted I wanted him I wanted him instead of Darth Vader I wanted it more of a um, to of, tell you uh, the history of baseball. <laughs> no, yeah, I wanted it to be like make a dump and he will wipe. If you build it, yeah, they will flush. Yeah, yeah. like that's what uh, that's what I wanted. I wanted I, fucking Mufasa uh, I, to tell me how my daily dump was going. All this you see <laughs> is your bathroom. <laughs> You can shit everywhere. <laughs> but it's best if you keep it in the toilet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted wanted the to tell me. I wanted the king of to come and tell me that I'd been in there too long. It's time to come home. I, I want him to convince you about the wet wipes. I want to be like, if you only knew the power of the wet wipe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, would, it would take him to convince it. <laughs> um, the, the other... Uh, I I thought of another name, another uh, another voice that would be pretty good. Um, you could get Richard uh, Attenborough, the guy who did the um, the narration for the Planet Earth series, uh, you, or the Blue Planet series, or whatever. You know who I think would be perfect. Who? Uh, fucking uh, Bobcat Man. Bob, you mean Bobcat Goldweed? Yeah, Gold. Bobcat isn't his name Bobcat Goldweed? It's not gold. It's Goldthwaite. Gold something. <laughs> yes. Like he had. That's say, the perfect. Like, say say like, Cool Whip. <laughs> that's what. That's what I always think of. I think of. I think of Stewie trying to say Cool Whip. Cool Cool Whip. Uh, whenever somebody says his name, I. It's not. 
It's Bobcat Goldthwait. Goldthwait, I think, but I can't. See. It's Bobcat Goldweight is how I already always said. Yeah, it. but I mean, if you, like, <laughs> that's the perfect voice. <clears throat> for I don't feel too good this morning. I was wondering if you. Ah, take a shit. Yeah, see, that's the perfect bat. Like, when no, bathroom, man, I don't need that in the morning. Like when I'm taking, yeah, man, that'll fucking get you up, dude. <sighs> no. Yeah, like you feel like you've done something. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's... Uh, like, re- your dump was so awesome, you, this guy can't even fucking act right. Fucking R- Richard Attenborough, man, he could be describing you as like a like a, a, a miracle of nature, like, witness now the other guy in his natural habitat. Watch him as he drops his load. No, I don't... Sploosh. Mm. Sploosh. That's fucking creepy. That makes me feel <laughs> creeped upon. Like, like a little... <laughs> it's because you got a British guy hovering over your yeah, toilet, more. apparently. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Maybe, but yeah, Bobcat or James Earl Jones, I'm down with. I don't know. Uh, Sam Jackson would be all right. Uh, I'm trying to think of others like, ah, i tell you who would be a good way. This I don't necessarily need him to narrate my morning shit, but I wouldn't mind a motivational speech every morning. Fucking- um, Alec Baldwin? No, who's- although, although Alec Baldwin would be a good one, too. You are a magnificent bastard. <laughs> Your defecations are magnificent. I, uh, yeah, that would be- That'd be an all right one. Who's the uh, the 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 fucking stand up comic that just went crazy? Cat Cat Williams. Oh, I couldn't do Cat Williams. I could do a Cat Williams motivational speech every morning though. Like, and if I have to get that while I'm taking a dump, I don't mind. You know, like you gotta stay in tune with your star player. Does your gut feel like you've been paying attention to you lately? I don't think so. No, I couldn't do. Yeah, no, I couldn't do him. Maybe maybe like Chris Rock. Um, again, I think I think Chris Rock is almost too close to the Bobcat Goldie. Like, Jesus Christ! Well, that's the voice going through my head as I take a dump. Look the size of that shit! What'd you eat? A whole can of corn? Yeah, like no. that's. But that's. Yeah, no, I can't. Like, nah. dude, pooping, pooping should at. be a struggle, and it should be it should be voiced as a struggle. <laughs> you got something know. in you that 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 wants you know to be used and you're just trying to get rid of it uh, man now that now that you brought it up I, I i think alec baldwin may be the way to go man it's smooth nice and easy self-affirming a little cocky it's a nice way to start your day in in, in the in the shitter as it were i like by the fact that I, I like the fact that we're not the only ones though apparently like the morning shit is a pretty universal thing if it if it's if text from last night is is having a discussion about uh who's narrating their morning shit like it's not just the two of us. A, that B, makes me feel a little more human. Instead, like instead of A always B B C closing, it'd be A always B B <laughs> P pooping. Well, always just, B pooping. It, it's it's A B C always be crapping. Yeah, always, always be, be crapping. crapping. Yes, he's trying to to, to uh, tell you the importance of getting off the seat once you're done doing your business. Don't yeah. linger and read. Read over the dinner table. Poop over the toilet. Yeah. A B C always be crapping. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had a news story about mythical creatures. No, is it from? If it's from Korea again, I'm not buying it. No. No, this one is uh, homegrown, Texas, to be specific. Sasquatch. No. Chupacabra. Nope. Centaur. Bullshit. Headline. No, I'm not going to give you the headline. It's too good. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell them this, this is a really shitty article. I don't want to over sensationalize it. Here's the uh here's our here's our main character. Twenty nine year old Texas man, Andrew Mendoza. Um sounds Texan. Andrew Andrew got arrested recently for something that he did at his neighbor's house. What do you think he was doing at his neighbor's house? Took a dump on his porch. No, it'd be worse than that. Jacking off into his mailbox. <laughs> okay, but you're in the no, but you're in the area. I'll give you a hint. Andrew was a little frustrated because his um his his girlfriend had stood him up that day. Fucked his dog. Closer. Boy, you're hot. You're burning up. It was his, his horse. No. Andrew Mendoza was arrested for having sex with his neighbor's horse after being stood up by his girlfriend. To make this story even worse though, Mendoza told the police he was trying to make the horse have a baby because he thought it would have a horse man baby. <laughs> you got to be 
fucking kidding me. Mr. Mendoza. Like, you get caught, and that's the best you can come up with. He's trying to make a centaur. That's what he said. Surprisingly, or not surprisingly, depending upon how you feel about Texas, Mendoza's mistake in the eyes of the law wasn't that he violated a horse, but rather that he didn't do it in private. It's not even illegal to fuck a horse in Texas. Did you know that? Why, why would you have to make... Yeah, that is... Like... You make a law once, some, like, after several people have done it. <laughs> right? So the sex in public is what this guy is getting in trouble for, I'm assuming. Like, uh, people yeah, public aren't, lewdness. Yeah, people aren't, like, people in Texas, I, as much as I hate Texans, they're not going around fucking horses, man. You say that, they're just not going around getting arrested for fucking horses. Nobody is suggesting that there's not some horse fucking going on in Texas. Like, well, for, for example, in Louisiana, there's the first cousin law. Yeah. It's illegal to marry your first cousin. Yeah, and they made that because people used to marry their first cousins. And they were like, hey, that's not a good idea genetically. Yeah. Maybe so we you should have to stop make it, that. Right, so you made it a law because people were fucking doing it. Right. It's not illegal to fuck horses because people ain't fucking horses. I think it's just not illegal to fuck horses because the 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 authorities in Texas, re, uh, unlike They're Mr. Too busy Mendoza, fucking horses. no, I'm just saying the authorities in Texas realize, unlike Mr. Mendoza, that it doesn't make centaurs. So there's not a real concern about like the dangers of horse fucking necessarily. I guess. I mean, if, I, anyway, that's neither here nor there. It's surprising though because there are bestiality laws in lots of other states. That's my point. There are bestiality laws all over the country. Not in fact. Internet. There's a bestiality law even in Texas. It's just a specific kind of bestiality. Pig, chicken, public duck. lewdness. For instance, here is the penal code that this, this is this is what Mr. Mendoza pled guilty to. Public lewdness. A person commits an offense if he knowingly engages in any of the following acts in a public place or if not in a public place, he is reckless about whether another is present who will be offended or alarmed by his one act of sexual intercourse. Two, act of deviant sexual intercourse. Three, act of sexual contact. Or four, act involving contact between the person's mouth or genitals and the anus or genitals of an animal or fowl. So it is illegal to fuck a horse, but only if you do it in the view of another person. No, it's illegal to tongue fuck a horse. Yes. It's illegal to suck a horse dick. Act involving contact between the person's mouth or genitals and the anus or genitals of the animal or fowl. So, yeah, you can't fuck a horse. That's what it's saying. You can't fuck animals. If you're in public. That's the whole point of it. The first part of this is public lewdness. It is illegal to do any of these things right. in well, public. Also, also at the beginning of it, it also says knowingly. I mean, this dude, if this dude actually thought it was going to make centaurs, he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. Like, he's got a case. He can get this shit thrown out. Um, I don't think Mr. Mendoza has, a, uh, has an attorney, but he's actually already pleaded guilty. I, anyway... My point is this. I, I'm all for mythical creatures coming into the world, as as we've established uh, long since on this podcast. This is not the way to get a centaur, though. Dude, if you if if you knew fucking a bird would get you a phoenix, would you do it? You <sighs> would. You, you would. You would. You have to think about it. You would do it. I don't know that I would do it. I would probably try to find somebody else and talk them into doing it. No, no, you. It only you're saying you. you're saying Dumbledore appears in a puff of smoke and he says, "Oh, one guy, only you have the come that will grant a phoenix." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would I fuck a bird if I could create a phoenix? If I knew what, like, how? I mean, is it, it, it literally be a pet phoenix? It'd be it'd be exactly what you think a phoenix is. And and more than that, I have certainties. I have assurances. I know for a fact. It. No, I, but I know for a fact that I'm going to get the Phoenix. There's no... Yeah, no, you're getting a Phoenix, If, man. ands, or buts about it, nope. no loopholes. Nope, exactly what you think a Phoenix is if you fuck a bird to get a Phoenix. Oh, God. I don't want to fuck a bird, man. Liar. I don't want to fuck it's a bird. Phoenix, bro. I know. I'm. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to weigh... I'm like, like you'll be you're able putting to me on a timer? You're for putting me on a timer or something? No, I'm saying, for, with its tears, you'd be able to live for like centuries. Yeah. With that shame. More than that, I just have a fucking Phoenix. Hey, whatever, man. Whatever. <laughs> For the rest of my life, people will be like, well, you know I got that phoenix. I'd be like, I've got a fucking phoenix, though, don't I? Don't I? You got a phoenix? I didn't think so. I, I got the only bird. one. bird. I didn't go deaf over here. That's right. That's right. You know what this phoenix allows me to do? Fucking rain fire down on your asses. That's what. Kill him, Feeny. I'd name him Feeny. That's right. After the Mr. after the Feeny. teacher. Yeah, you're damn straight. You know there's going to be a sequel to that show now? Yeah, Girl Meets where? World. You excited? Yeah. About the further adventures of Cory and Topanga? Uh, dude, I'm excited for any savage to get a bone. <laughs> you 
You know, I based a lot of my worldview on what Corey and Topanga did with their adult life, so I'm really excited to get some more info on how they've raised their children. How much do you like it if they, like, they'd been married to other people? Like, they got divorced, then married other people, right? Right. But they had this kid whenever they were first married, then divorced these other people, and like, eh, you know what, fuck it. We need the money. Let's get back together. We're going to make the show. What do you wait a minute? What are you talking about? They don't they're not married in real life. Uh for the purposes of my story and the show, they are. Oh. <laughs> I said, wouldn't it be great if? Uh no. Although I've read some really sweet interviews with both of them talking about how they have like like how they are effective like that's her second husband. Like Topanga in particular has described him as her second husband. She is married in real life. Her first husband must be pissed. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. That dude's probably cashing the checks and enjoying his life at home, not having to do much, so it'll be fine. Um, but he's like, uh, I mean, she was saying, that, you know, like they knew each other since they were kids, and ev- like their entire lives have been entwined. Everywhere they go in public, they're generally asked about, like, it's like, oh, my God, it's Ben Savage. What about Topanga? And Damn, when she goes ain't anywhere. People going, oh, my God, it's Ben Savage. I'm people like, that like the show, Corey? dude. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. People that like the show are like, "Oh my God, it's Corey." And and what about Topanga? What is she doing now? Do you guys talk? Are you still friends in real life? Blah blah blah. You know, like all those sorts of questions. So anyway, I think it's kind of sweet. I'm excited about the show. I'll watch it. I, it's probably going to be stupid. Isn't it on like the Disney Channel or something? I don't have a clue. Yeah, no, I think it's. I mean, it's going to be like she's going to be the main character. So I'm assuming it's going to be on the Disney Channel or so. it'll be on cable. It won't be on like regular primetime TV. I think. They don't put kids' shows on primetime anymore. Have you noticed that? Why would you? Well, they did when we were kids. On children's stations? No. ABC, every Friday night, all night long, oh, it was, family night. was kids-friendly program. Yeah. Like, and two or three of the shows would be specifically, like, main characters were kids, even. It was, like, really geared at kids. TJF was all family night. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And all of the channels had... All of the networks had at least one or two programs. You fucking think about Blossom, you know, or Saved by the Bell, the college years, like was directly aimed at kids. It might be like acceptable programming for adults, but pre-cable and not just pre-cable, but like pre last 10 or 15 like years. Full of House, cable. Family Matters, Step by Step, all that shit was geared toward. It was really for kids. Yeah. Like, families could watch it because they did have adult characters, but even the adult character storylines were all written for the kids. It was all hijinks. None of the relationships were real. It was all ridiculous, you know? Anyway, it's something I noticed the other day. Like, I'm watching TV with my kids now. They don't watch anything on any of the networks because they don't program for them at all. It's, it's kind of weird. Hmm. I don't know. I think I, I thought I just – I thought it wasn't on TV anymore just because I didn't watch – those you didn't watch it at the right time and so you right. didn't see and i mean you don't watch anything live we dvr everything right. whatever yeah i don't know i it's it, it's one of those weird things like you don't you don't see it happening but i don't know it's a big shift in in television that just snuck up on me all of a sudden um speaking of stuff that that sneaks up on you well you know what happened right what like abc and stuff like they were like stacking like family show on top of family show on top of family show on top of family show. Playing and a little then, trash jenga. And then Fox came along, <laughs> right? And like The Simpsons came out and they put it on top. And it broke it. Broke it. Fucking and then and then Fox fucking lost trash jenga. And have never way. had family programming ever. That was a long way, sir. Well, I felt like we were nearing the end. Um it, we're circling it. I got one more news story I want to get in here. We got 47 minutes, but I'm going to cut some. Oh, we so. got if you could, too, don't we? Oh, we fuck. That? Yeah, let's skip this news story and just do the if you could, because this, this is a good if you could, actually. I'm going to tease it, though. I got another story of a chick who tried to kill her boyfriend with her boobs. It's a rash of stories. I'm not going to call it a copycat, and I'm not saying that they got the idea from this podcast, but it's possible. Bet we'd get famous if we had a serial killer that that took an idea from from this podcast. Some chick actually took it upon herself to live out your fucking like. Oh, it'd only be interesting if she started if she if she went to jail and then came out and killed her next husband too. Look, man, it would only work if whoever it is got a costume for a horse that turned them into a pornicorn, right? <laughs> While also killing people with a Freddy Krueger hand made out of dildos. 
Like, if that happened, they'd be like, yeah, they, they fucking got it from the show. <laughs> they fucking got it from the show. I'm not claiming any other deaths. All like, right, if that specifically enough. happens, I'm owning it. That was us. <laughs> fair enough. If if we hear about some pornicorn deaths, we'll know. Yeah, um, like some, some bitch just riding in on a pornicorn, slapping people around till they die from dildo did you, the brain. Did, you, did I tell you about Florida Man on Twitter? No. There's a new Twitter account called Florida Man. I think that's the handle. It's like at Flo Rida Man? No, it's at Florida Man. But what what they're doing is they're taking the headlines from all over the internet, I guess, wherever they find them, that start with Florida Man found doing such and such or whatever. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. That's real funny, man. <laughs> no, it's fucking hilarious. Like, t- today it was like... <laughs> Florida man arrested for public masturbation, then defecates in cop car or something like that, you know? And then, like, the next one is, like, <laughs> Florida man um, Florida man suing police force um, for brutality after <laughs> incident with sprinkler, you know, or something Dude, like so, that. Like, that's so easy and so genius. It's really brilliant. Because yeah. literally all they're doing is copying headlines and tweeting them out. Yeah, man, that's brilliant, man. It's, they're really fucking funny, though. All right. Here's the if you could. If you could neglect one personal hygiene routine without any adverse effect to your image or health, what would you choose? We're talking about you can stop brushing your teeth, cutting your fingernails, shaving, showering. I'm fucking, I'm stopping. I'm not wearing socks no more. You're going to go shoeless or sockless, even in sneakers, regardless? Socks, man. I don't wear socks now. I mean, I only, but I don't wear real shoes. <laughs> like I, I was looking in my closet the other day. I have one pair of dress shoes, which I've worn in the past year like three times. When I wear my wear, suit, are you going to wear socks at your next wedding? Depends on what shoes I wear. If you're just wearing shoes, I mean, if I'm wearing these shoes, I'm not. They're Crocs. I'm not. I'm saying you got like on fucking dress shoes, man. It's your wedding, goddamn it. If I have on dress shoes, then yes, I didn't wear dress shoes at my last wedding. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm not wearing socks. By the way, I like how you snuck in there like my your next wedding. Like it's a, like it's a done deal. It's a fact. Yeah, I think. I mean, you're already moving in. You calling your shot? I like it. Yeah, like it's it's a natural progression. Like whenever my wife moved in, like she was just like she before was just, she moved in. Before, she was pacing time until you gave yeah, her like that before, ring. Before <laughs> she moved in, it was like she'd stay over like two nights a week, and it turned into like five nights a week. And, and then, then like, she's like, her oh, stuff would be everywhere. So I'm like, I hate having stuff in two houses. No, not even that. So I was like, okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to clean out one of the one of my drawer drawers. Yeah. And so I cleaned it out and I gave her that. Uh, at like, her house, she look, never gave me a drawer, man. At her house, I didn't even have a place for my toothbrush. Did you go over there a lot? I never go to Honey Bun's house. I I would go over there, but only like if it was late at night and I've just gotten off work. I, Otherwise, we were always at my house. Here's the deal. She never gave me a permanent thing. Like, she never cleaned out a drawer, gave me uh, anything in the bathroom that would, could be mine. Right. Uh, but she did make me a shacker kit, man. How does that work? So she took this little um, uh, this little Rubbermaid tub thing, and she, like, painted it up, because sorority girls <laughs> do that. And it was, like, on the side, shacker kit. And inside the kit was, like... It had like a change of underwear, uh, one of my T-shirts, a uh, pair of jogging pants, uh, uh, a razor, uh, a little can of shaving cream. You know what you would need if you just shaved. If you up. crash there and then you got to get up in the morning yeah. and actually go do something yeah. real quick. Yeah, that's cute. That's, that's cute. Cool. Yeah, we uh we we got we got the place. We're gonna move in. I don't know sometime over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, yes. Potentially, that's the thing that could happen in the future. Will I wear socks at it? <sighs> yes, I suppose it's likely. I will wear dress shoes and socks. See, not me. Because <laughs> you are now going without socks. I'm going without socks. This is in the magic if you could world, though, other guy. In this world, if you completely go without socks, especially wearing regular shoes, your feet will stink very badly. But if the if in the if I could, that will affect your image and health. In the if I could world, no socks for me, man. Uh, fair enough. Um, I. I don't mind shaving. I really don't. I don't have to shave a ton because I don't grow any fucking facial hair. Oh, so like every man, like three or four days, uh, every three or four days I can. Sh- well, here's the problem though. If you if you could just neglect it, well then that is does that is your beard going to continue to grow or can you just stop it? Can you say right there, no more beard growing? 
No, I think I think in this, I think the point is for whatever was socially like you turn into the dudes from Duck Dynasty, except yeah. that's fine. Yeah, I'm nobody cats, cares, right? I'm that, going to live in a yurt and smoke some cigarettes in the Klondike. You, you, Mrs. Other Guy thinks that's just peachy keen that you're all hairy and and have birds living inside your beard or whatever. Dude, let's face it, if I if it was acceptable for me to grow a beard like that, I'd have it done in like three months. <laughs> Probably so. It'd take me roughly three decades. Uh, well, no, it's been three decades, and I don't have one yet. So it would take me at least six. I'm imagining. Like if you give me three months no shaving, I'd have a gnarly beard, man. Yeah, if you give me three months uh, no shaving, I'd have a tremendous neck beard. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd, have, I'd have a tremendous <laughs> fucking neck beard. Um, oh, I the one that I hate, like I I like shave, like I said, I like shaving. I don't mind that. Like I like, especially if you got a nice razor, that's actually like pleasant. I like brush my teeth too. I like showering. I like bathing. I like all that stuff. I don't like clipping my fingernails and my toenails. No, this fucking gross, man. You can't not do. Well, that. no, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. In a world where in if it's magic, if you put good powers where I where they stop growing, then that would be the one that I chose. No, it doesn't count. If it's, it's, it's if it's they grow yes. out like fucking yes. Guinness Book of World Records, but nobody cares, right? Then no, I'm not okay with that. You're right. No, I couldn't. I mean, think of all the things you couldn't do if you had fucking crazy curly fingernails. That's why the people who do that only grow out one hand. Well, even then, like you got to walk around with one hand in the air, like you're RuPaul. Like, <laughs> well, really, what do you do with your left hand? Balance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. I I can't. I don't know. I can't think of anything. Uh, but I don't want. I don't want it to have crazy fingernails on it. That's my point. Um, Dude, if you had to have hands that weren't hands, like they had to be like chicken claws or bird feet or flippers, uh, oh, fucking wings, and that's an easy one. You you make them wings, man. You turn the arms into wings. I didn't say arms. I said hands. Oh, well, I can't. Put I mean, having wings on your hands really ain't gonna get you very far. Yeah, no, that's a good point. That's what good job point. would you get, Fluffer? Um, well, you, I wouldn't want claws though. What the fuck am I gonna do with a set of claws? Grasp, grasp what? Meat? So, uh, Carrion? What are you gonna do with a flipper? <laughs> Swim very fast. You could. You'd be, you'd be awesome. <laughs> I could be like Michael Phelps, man. Be like, this, this kid won 17 gold medals this year. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it would be. If I was going to gonna choose a different hand, it would be, what? How do we or get all that? puppy feet. You'd have little puppy feet because people <laughs> love puppy feet. Like, oh, puppy feet. They put it all over shit, especially Valentine's Day. Yeah, people love puppy, puppy feet. Paw. But not on a thirty-year-old man. Like puppy feet. If I just if I reached out to shake your hand and it was a paw, aw would not be the sound that you made involuntarily. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hoof. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It would be ah, what the fuck? Oh, oh my god! Like you go to you go to it's on your hand. You go to shake somebody's <laughs> hand and it's a hoof, and you're like, Mister Mendoza was onto something. <laughs> Nice. And on that, we're out. <laughs> we're out. Stop by the website, twoguysonepod.com. Uh, all spelled out, twoguysonepod.com. Visit us on Facebook. Like our page and tell a friend to do likewise. Facebook.com slash twoguysonepod. And don't forget to um, give us a review in iTunes. Appreciate everybody that's done that. That's a big help, and it makes us a lot easier to find. Two almost guys, everybody. Almost everybody. <laughs> twoguysonepod.com. To find more links and details, send us an email to guys one pod at me.com and join us again next week. Until then, I'm one guy. And I'm the other. And this has been the podcast.
to steal all the thrills of the modern pop beat fat. But then he died of fatigue making music all day. He never got to say. My simple pop song is kind of complicated. It could go wrong if I overcomplicate it. Repetition, 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 repetition. Simplify, simplify, simply dance, dance, dance. I snuck into his lap so I could steal his notes. Let's start with four on the floor and a simple fat synth bass. The vocal line should remain very subtle and pure. I then throw some words or some sounds and to fill up this blank space. Whoa! Then stir it up till the feet travel to the dance floor. We need not add too much more. My simple pop song is kind of complicated. It could go wrong if I overcomplicate it. Repetition, 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 repetition. Simplify, simplify, simply dance, dance, dance. sounds on air you're listen to yourself that's pretty good it does it sounds really clear well our snapping came off really clearly too well when you fantastic mr fox me oh yeah yeah like that came out really clear and i was like that motherfucker just did that that is the verbal wink yeah yeah it's a good one 